Hello everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. This month I have joined the 30 Days of Sketches Challenge with Christy's Beautiful Life. Today's video is going to be more like a layout share with some tips and design ideas, but there will be more than just scrapbook pages in this video. I have a few surprises for you as I share the sketches from days one through six and show you the projects I created using the sketch as my inspiration. If you would like to join this challenge, you can become a member of the Facebook group and check out the playlist of projects created by others. I will place links to each of those in the description below, along with the list of supplies I used on my projects. So let's get started with day one. This sketch design was created by Jessica Michaels, and it's a really nice, simple design that you could easily adapt for multiple album sizes. I chose to create a 12 by 12 layout that records a memory of our daughter wedding dress shopping. These are some silly photos taken after she had already tried on multiple dresses and she was getting to the point where she was tired and she needed a snack. Instead of stars, I decided to use some cardstock cuts from Not Just For Boys Kit Club and I placed them opposite of how they're shown in the sketch. The background paper from 49 and Market has a splattered circle design that I wanted to show through. And I also had three photos instead of two, so I moved some of the images around to balance out the space. I backed those cardstock cuts with pattern paper and cardstock to match the color in the photos, and I added some acetate leaves and butterflies to this page. This sketch also shows some splatters of paint, but since my page already had that printed on it, I decided to add texture with some glitter paste and a stencil. I don't know how well you can see this in the camera, but it just adds a tiny bit of shine to the page. I decided to keep the title simple and added just a few phrases to the page, like we've just begun. This was only the second shop we had stopped at that day, and we still had three more to go. So I thought that phrase was perfect for these photos. Above the photos, I did add some tabs, just like shown in the sketch. And this is where I'm going to be hiding my journaling. So you can see that this design is rather close to the sketch with a few changes to match the memory and my photos. Let's go ahead and move on to day two. This sketch was created by Crafty Maggie, and I love the florals on this design. Again, it's an easy sketch to adapt to just about any album size. Here is the page I created using the sketch as my guide. I kept those florals in the same location, used two photos and added a strip of pattern paper below the photos just like it shows in the sketch. I also have a large title above and journaling over to the left. Now as much as I loved that tilted square frame, I really struggle placing items at an angle. It took me forever to stick these photos down and accept the fact that they were not straight. So to save my OCD from going into panic mode, I chose to create simple square frames out of pattern paper that I stitched in place for my background. I distressed the edges of that floral pattern paper with a sanding block and some ink to give it a little bit of a worn look. For the florals, I used a mix of dies and stickers. The magnolias were created with a layered die cut that I cut from white cardstock and I shaded the petals with antique linen distress oxide ink. The centers are cut from craft paper and a deep gray blue cardstock to match the photos. I did add some details to those flowers with a white pen to really make them pop. Those leaves are also part of the layered die set and I added a little ink to those and then I layered them onto the page with foam strips. Around the florals, I added leaf and flower stickers. These are from the same collection that I used on my Renaissance Fair layout and it fits this page perfectly. It also gave me an opportunity to use up the rest of those flower stickers. 
You can see that I also tucked a little circle phrase there and it says ever so lovely. And I added a few brads within the flowers. I chose to use larger photos than shown in the sketch, so my title needed moved a little bit. I decided to keep it simple with some foam stickers and acrylic hearts, and I wanted to make sure that it formed a nice diagonal with the phrase below the photos. Diagonals help draw your eyes across the page, so placing certain elements above and below photos help draw your eye to the focus of your design. Day three is a sketch created by Sandra Lee, and it's perfect for all your paper scraps. There are some great horizontal patterns in the center and some vertical ones at the top with a few little floral die cuts that you could change out to match the theme of your layout. I decided to use this sketch to create a card. If you're a card maker and you want to take the time to look at each of these sketches in the series, I want you to think about the elements that you can use in your card designs. In this sketch, I saw a slimline card. The horizontal strips with the polka dot and the wood grain made a perfect background, while the vertical pieces added visual interest. I decided to use tags for my vertical pieces, but you could use florals or paper strips or even die cuts in this space. To bring in more texture, I added white sunflowers on the background with texture paste. This helped bring in some of those floral elements from the sketch. Instead of adding two photos to my card, I added two pumpkins, and I shaded these with alcohol markers, and then in place of a title, I added a sentiment. Now, this is a really fun card design, and it was inspired by this scrapbook sketch. Next is a sketch created by Cheryl Ashcraft. The day four sketch has a lot of layers that I love. This layout has a patterned background, flowers, layered label stickers, and circular elements, plus a little lace doily there. Now, since I've already created two floral pages, I decided to go in a different direction with my page and use that sketch for a Halloween layout. I replicated that diamond pattern in the background using some stitching. The bats were cut from a variety of patterns that I had in my scrap bin. This is a great way to use up some of those scraps that you have stored away. Now, I believe that those bat dies are still on sale the last time I checked, so make sure that you visit the link in my supply list to check those out. I kept the photo in the same location and I added a lace element at the top with a little die cut from 49 and Market. I also tucked my journaling up here because there wasn't going to be much room on the page once I added all those fun little icons. Instead of filling the page with the diamond pattern, I only added it to about half of the page, which allowed me to add some pattern paper and washi tape at the base of the page. I cut a few little bats into that pattern paper so that it created some nice visual interest on the left side. Obviously, I didn't use florals like the sketch shows, but the placement of my elements is in the same locations. I added some layers of stickers and acrylic shapes to the right of the photo. And in the upper left corner, I replicated some of the elements and created a little tab just like it's shown on the sketch by using a little banner sticker. Instead of a circle and labels below the photo, I used a garland sticker and some strips of paper and a little sticker phrase. The garland gives that circular shape and it flows right into the other elements under the title. To finish off this page, I added some more bats, some splatters, and some acrylic dots. Now the sketch in this instance was simply used for inspiration. I replicated that diamond background in a different way and I used the item placement to help me balance out my layout. All right, I have two more sketches for you. Day five was created by Lisa Sikorsky, and I'm hoping I said that right. I'm hoping I'm not butchering too many names here today. And this is a great geometric design. 
There are some rectangles and squares on this page which have been paired with a few little embellishments. I was inspired by this sketch to create another card. I scaled down the shapes to fit an A2 size card and I added small floral embellishments just like it was shown in the sketch. Instead of a photo, I used that space for a banner to put my sentiment. Now this card had quite a bit of white on it, so I added a little bit of interest with a texture plate and I used that to create the background. This is another really simple card design with some amazing layers and it was inspired by a scrapbook sketch. All right, let's go on to the last sketch. This one is created by Alicia Lawrence for day six in the series. I love the triangle shapes in the corners with the little suns peeking out behind the photos. Again, I did go in a different direction. I was inspired to create a woven fall card for this project and I love how it turned out. Instead of photos, I wove some pattern paper scraps together. I learned how to do this on National Card Making Day on the Scrapbook and Cards Today blog. You should check that out if you want to learn how to make this. Instead of sun images, I decided to add leaves because I wanted to give this a fall feel. Now with all the layers already on the card, I wasn't sure if I should add those paper strips and the two triangles, so I decided not to. Instead, I used some geometric images in the background and I created those with some die cuts by layering white on white. I decided to just use white cardstock in the background because I didn't want to add any more color. Now in the sketch, the photos are smack dab in the middle as the focal point. So I decided to do this with the sentiment. I used a bold layered word die and I added it in the middle of the card. Again, this was a card design inspired by a scrapbook sketch. So if you are a card maker, I encourage you to join the 30 Days of Sketches group. There are some amazing designs in there that you can use too. So did you enjoy this project share for 30 Days of Sketches? My goal was to share ways that you could use these sketches on your projects. Some of my designs did look similar to the sketch created, while others were a little bit more of a unique interpretation. Either way, I hope this gave you some ideas for using the sketches in Christie's group. Make sure you tap that subscribe button and notification bell so that you're notified when I add the next batch of projects. My plan is to create these a week at a time so that you can be inspired to use one of the sketches on your next project. If you wish to see more pages created with these sketches, there is a playlist that you can view and I'll put a link to that in the description below and at the end of my video, or you could join the 30 Days of Sketches Facebook group. If you are one who likes to pin projects to inspiration boards, I will be placing these photos on my website for you to use. I want to thank you for joining me today. I look forward to sharing more sketch projects with you next week. If you have any questions about this project, a sketch, or the supplies listed below, feel free to leave me a comment. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.